allows you to select a new job and click OK. And of course, that indeed just current activity would be a maintenance of that job. And then you indeed can appropriately associate that and show the result or perhaps the reasoning of why the job hasn't been started on time. Here, if I select one of these jobs, like D004 has to be created prior to selection of P00199, let's say, cabinet polishing. You have to make the cabinet and include it as part of a high-end speaker, let's say. These are probably separate jobs that need to be scheduled differently. I change the status to be running. As you see, it shows the running versus the new ones and you can click on a report in progress and if there are any defects as part of your production you can actually report it right there you can change the status say it still is running and let's say a tool has been broken on that machine you can stop the job you can complete the job you can click report defects and specify exactly how many are basically defected what is it is it a material is it a machine is it an operator problem and then report it as you see if I wanted to produce 20 two of them are going to be defected so therefore you're producing 18 go back and you notice that as far as the job options, you can review it prior to going back. You can refresh this result and realize exactly how many do you have. See any info log or messages that are coming from the headquarters and view it right from there. I switch back to the home page. And as you see, these are basically the jobs again. You can take a look at the running versus the stop versus the one that has been created newly. And by selecting this specific icon, I can start the job and the status changes to running. And I can view the jobs that are running, obviously. The color coding shows nicely. And as you see, the real estate of this job identification shows the capability for you to be able to as a machinist do the touch screen because perhaps you are a machinist that has a gloves on and you need a larger panel in order to communicate with the device so I start the job again here I have now the view detail of this job as you see this uses more material the ones on your right hand side are all raw materials for this bill of material here and by starting this job automatically the information will be sent to Dynamics X and of of course, AX knows exactly how to consume those raw materials and pick them and put it as part of the information. Again, you can report the progress and say whether or not it has been completed or it still is running. Similar information that you have seen before. So as you see, this specific application is not necessarily allowing you to configure your production management environment, but it gives a machinist a fantastic view of what's going on. You can start the stop and view the documents in more creative way. And as you see, again, some of these information information is running so therefore has been consuming all the information perhaps no raw materials will be shown because it still is in progress and perhaps as you see the form padding is a process that is running and you can take a break right from here let's say the machine is doing its work you take a break and then you can start the working again after you come back from break or you can take a lunch break and indeed right from there you can give it to another machinist and system automatically take care of your absences or clocking or clock out automatically for you also when you log off or log back on needless to say the picture of the employee is appeared on the top right hand side and the time that the person is working with needless to say you can search for a job based on a description and work within this application in a nice way and have more intelligent data by going through this demonstration you have seen how the production floor is working within the system and that will conclude our lecture in regard to the mobile apps in Dynamics X. In this demonstration I showed you how to install the mobile apps on desktop and also configure the bus services for Azure hosted environment, work with connected or offline mode. I've shown you how to work with approval, expense, timesheet, financial, business analyst application, production floor and you have seen exactly how they can interact with each other.